high school, everyone seems to get so caught up, caught up on being cool. People mistake being cool with conforming to the latest trends and blending in. Eventually, we come to realize that being cool is really about standing out and doing your own thing. Caitlin Rodriguez is the perfect example of what it actually means to be cool. She's not afraid to stick to what she believes in and will always tell it like it is through her witty humor and clever sarcasm. Caitlin proves to be outstanding time and time again, no matter the circumstances, because she comes up with solutions in tough situations almost immediately. I look to Caitlin in my most complicated dilemmas, not only because she is helpful, but she also gives you a feeling of safety and comfort when it seems like everything's falling apart. There are not many people who can hold it together when things start to go wrong, but Caitlin can do just that. Last year, when her family found out that Kate's younger brother Brendan had cancer, Caitlin did not crumble. She didn't quit her sports teams, her grades didn't drop, and I'm almost positive that there was a smile on that girl's face every day. She is one of the strongest women I know and someone I aspire to be more like. She knows who she is, and that's what makes her so cool. So many people look up to Caitlin because she can inspire you to be a better person just simply by being herself. Caitlin, you're the coolest person I know and the best friend I could ever ask for. When I second guess myself and question if what I'm doing is cool, you let me know on a daily basis what is not. <laughs> you're my biggest supporter, but you're also right there to make fun of me for my dorkiness, and I love you for that. I have the best times with you, and you can expect plenty of visits from me at college next year, so you don't have to worry about missing me. Ladies and gentlemen, Helen Rodriguez. Thank you, Amanda, for such a great introduction. I couldn't have to pick anyone better to introduce me. I am so happy that I gained a friendship with you this past year. You are always making me laugh, and I'm going to miss that next year. Thank you again. While everyone was getting dressed for school today, each one of you put on something extra, whether you thought about it or not. There is a natural invisible mask that you put on that is covering who you actually are. There are all different reasons for this mask, some good and some bad. This mask covers your ability to be who you are and express your actual characteristics. This mask tends to cover your insecurities and doubts that we have about ourselves. Why do we feel the need to mask and hide our true selves? People do this because they are scared to be judged and not fit in. But why try to fit in when you can be different? Difference in society has become rare. An anonymous writer once said, if we are lucky enough to have something that makes us different from everybody else, don't change. Uniqueness is priceless. In this crazy world that's trying to make us everyone alike, we have to find the courage to keep being our awesome self. And when they laugh at us for being different, laugh back at them for being the same. It takes a lot of courage to stand alone, but it's worth it. Being you is worth it. Hanging out with your closest friends will bring out your uniqueness. Not many people feel comfortable taking this mask off and acting different around other people other than their family. This mask is what is hiding your weirdness, and the only reason you would take this off around your friends is because you trust them. There are not many people I can hang out with and not have my mask on. Through high school, if I don't learn anything, the one thing I did learn was that having less close friends that you can be yourself around is much more important than having lots of acquaintances. The true friends will be there for when times get bitter and you feel as the whole world is turning on you. They will be the ones to notice when things aren't right and be the ones to help you adjust life. There is never a bad time to make a new friend and allow someone into your life. Gaining a new friendship will only have a positive outcome and an opportunity to have a new best friend. It is never too late to make a new friendship. Always have an open mind to people because they could become a great friend in a couple of months. With that being said, I have established many great relationships with people throughout my life, and I would like to take a moment to thank them. I just want to say thank you to all my teachers for making me feel comfortable since the first day I came to Davidson Day. You guys have taught me so much in the classroom and helped me grow as a person. Thank you all, and I'll never forget any of you. I am so happy that I decided to play basketball in my senior year. Thank you, Coach Dean and Coach C, for always believing in me and making it very memorable. Ms. Groves, thank you so much for all of you have done for me. You are truly so helpful and always give me great advice in my papers. Thank you again. Ms. Brown, I just want to say thank you for always being that teacher that I can talk to. Ms. Brown takes her classes very seriously, and when I tell you she has patience with me, that's an understatement. <laughs> she was able to realize that my little brother was sick and it was a hard time for me, and there wasn't a day that went by that she didn't ask me how Brendan was. Ms. Brown is someone that genuinely cares about you, and she is honestly probably the smartest woman I've ever met. Thank you again, and I'm going to miss you a lot next year. Chat. I just wanted to say thank you for all you've done for me through schools and soccer. I know we might get in arguments at soccer, practice, or in games when you're yelling at me, but you always seem to be right. 
As I was thinking about my speech and my high school career, I share some of the most remarkable memories with you. Whether we were in Denmark winning the Dana Cup or two state championships, you always helped me succeed in life. You really taught me so many great things, whether it was a life lesson or how you can't see water molecules. It's always good having someone make me face your fears and go outside your comfort zone. Thank you for all you've done. I'm going to miss seeing you on a daily basis next year. Kira, I just want to say thank you for always being that person I can rely on and having an open shoulder from your crime. You have definitely always been the sister that I never had. We share the funniest, dumbest, scariest, and most amazing memories together. There is not a better friend I could have picked in the kindergarten class to spend the rest of my school years with. Kira, you always stood by my side even when I was wrong. You are the one and only person I turn to when I need strength and encouragement, and you always seem to be able to lift me up. You are constantly saying the right thing at the right time to make me smile. I can't wait to go celebrate all of our school years together in 20 days when we go to Ireland. I love you, and I can't wait for all the memories to come. Nick, I just want to say thank you for encouraging me and never letting me give up on anything. You are such a great brother that is always watching out for me. I'm going to miss your endless rapping late at night when I'm trying to sleep, but I will definitely enjoy sleeping in college. I really do admire your hard work and dedication for all that you do. Next, I would like to talk about my hero in life and the best little brother, Brendan. You proved to me that anything is possible to overcome, no matter how hard it may seem. Brendan, you were fighting cancer at 10 years old, and you were still able to maintain a smile on your face, no matter how hard life may have been. <laughs> you are the reason why I make sure to smile and be thankful for every day I live. Freddie, you showed me what a true fighter was and how giving up is never an option. You are the best little brother and the strongest little man I know. I'm going to miss our sleepovers next year. I would like to thank the ultimate role model of my life and the woman I hope to grow up to be, my mom. Thanks, Mom, for always standing by my side through all my decisions in life, for always encouraging me, and for always being my number one fan. When Brennan was diagnosed with cancer, it was the hardest news I've ever had to take in. But somehow he still reassured me and made me believe that everything was going to be okay. I couldn't be happy that I'm only going to school 30 minutes from you, because I'm truly going to miss you and your home cooked meals. Thank you for always going that extra mile on all the sacrifices that you've ever made for me. You're amazing, Mom. Thank you for just simply being you. If you didn't get anything out of my speech, just remember not to be afraid to take your mask off and be yourself. A man named Irving Wallace once said, to be oneself and unafraid whether right or wrong is more admirable than the easy cowardice of surrendering to conformity. Thank you all for listening.